Trader Joe's. I go to Trader Joe's. And every time I go there, I look crusty. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. If you're new, please stay, subscribe, watch more videos, and make sure you have on the notification bell so you know each time I upload a new video. Today I'm partnering with Ulta to do this really beautiful, simple, I'm calling this a first date or Valentine's Day makeup look, but it's honestly just a really pretty look that you can wear anywhere. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day, it doesn't have to be for a date, it can be just to go to your grandma's house or I don't know, Trader Joe's, like wherever you wanna go and you wanna look nice, you can use this look. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys this really simple and put together look. Um, I'm using a lot of products that you can get at Ulta. Ulta, honestly, is a really great store. I mean, I'm, I'm sure everyone already knows what it is, but it's really cool because you can buy high-end products there as well as drugstore all in the same place. You can stuff for your hair, you can get lotion, chapstick, you can, get, you can get your hair done at Ulta. You can get a lot of really cool things there. So I'm really excited to be working with them for this video and showing you guys how I got this look. My mom also works for Ulta, so hey mom. That has nothing to do with this video though. She just works there, so. All right, so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting with no makeup on my face. My face is completely bare except for my brows. I did fill in my brows off camera. I will put a video description link down below if you wanna see how I fill in my brows. But to start, I'm just going to pin my hair back to make sure it's out of the way, and then we're going to move into our face makeup. To start with my face makeup, I'm taking my favorite primer from Urban Decay, a mattifying primer and then just a pore filling primer. I use the pore filling primer first and then the mattifying primer just in the areas where I know I get really, really oily. This one's my favorite because you can literally see it instantly perfects your pores and smooths your skin. Next, I'm going to do some foundation. I'm taking my favorite foundation, the Hourglass Vanish Stick, and I'm using the first shade, Chestnut, to contour my face. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter shade, Almond, which is my skin tone shade, and that's what I'm using to fill in the rest of the areas. Then I'm just going to blend that out with my favorite stippling brush. This one's from MAC. I'm just blending that color out all throughout my face. I love this foundation because it gives me a super soft and velvety finish. Look at that, it just looks so nice. Now I'm going to conceal a little bit using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel, just applying that to the high points of my face and then blending it out. And then I'm going to go in and set that using my Sasha Buttercup Powder. This is just a yellow translucent powder and I'm not going to bake. I've stopped baking because I found that baking set into the lines in my eyes and it was creating wrinkles. So I'm just lightly dusting this all over the areas where I put that concealer to set that area. To bronze my face and warm up my skin a little bit, I'm taking my NARS Contour Blush in the shade Gina. This is my favorite blush. I'm just dusting that all around the perimeter of my face and a little bit on my decollege, just so it looks even. And since that blush is more of a bronze tone, I'm going to go in with a more traditional color. This is a peachy kind of pink color called Desert Rose from MAC, and I'm just going to pop this onto my cheeks. Once you've done that, the face makeup is complete. Moving into the eyes, I'm starting with this tinted eye primer in the color Satin Blush from the Ulta Beauty Collection. I love using tinted eye primers because they double as eyeshadows while helping your other eyeshadows last longer. Next, I'm going to take one of the individual eyeshadows from the Ulta Beauty Collection. This is in the shade Suede, and I'm going to be applying this in my eyes as a crease color. I love these eyeshadows because you can take them out of the pot and put them in an actual palette, so it makes traveling with them a lot easier. This color is my perfect transition shade, so I'm applying this into my crease just to help all the other shades blend a lot easier. And then I'm going in with the shade Love Potion, and I'm going to be applying this right into my crease. Using a pencil brush, I'm just going to lightly blend this into my crease area. For whatever reason, having a deeper set crease is more appealing to the human eye, so if you do this right, it'll make your eyes look more demure and appealing to whoever is looking at them. I love these eyeshadows because they're super blendable, really, really easy to work with, and they're made from all natural minerals, so they're healthy for sensitive eyes. I really love this eyeshadow look. I feel like it's a perfect everyday or first date look, and these eyeshadows are really affordable. I think they're like $8.50. Now I'm just going to dust a little bit more of that love potion just underneath my bottom lash line. As you can see, doing this just makes your eyes look even more smoky and mysterious, so lightly dusting that underneath just gives your eyes a little bit more of an element of sexiness. And then I'm just going to make my eyelashes look a bit thicker by applying this really lightly onto my lash line. This is just a liquid liner from NYX. 
For lashes, I'm going to be taking the new Faux Mink Lashes from Ardell and just applying those onto my eyes. I really like these lashes because they're super light and natural looking. And then I'm going to take this Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay and just apply that to the top and bottoms of my lashes. To highlight, I'm going to be taking this highlighter from Cover FX in the color Candlelight. I really love this highlighter because it makes you look like you're glowing from within. So I'm applying that onto my nose and my cheekbones. After that, the face and eye makeup is complete. Moving into the lips, I'm going to start by taking this lip liner from Urban Decay called Nightingale, and I'm just going to be aligning my lips with this color. I really like this color a lot. It's like the perfect mauve pink. And then I'm going to be taking this lipstick from Smashbox. I don't know the name of it, but I will be sure to link it down in the description box below, and just applying that and mixing it in really well with the lip liner. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss. I love this gloss because it's the least sticky gloss I've ever tried. It's so moisturizing and soft on your lips. Just makes them feel really, really nice. This is also from Urban Decay. After that, the look is complete. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this look. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. And yes, I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye. One, two, three, four.